this whole process of moving three parishes together and four corporations. Uh, it's not always very easy for them to know what's going on and for me to know what's going on with them. And they've been uh, very helpful and they've done a lot of good work these last six years as we've been uh, working together. Okay, thank you. Now I would like members of the Combined Pastoral Council, if you are here to stand, please. Yes, there you go. So these are members, especially these last... Henry, don't forget Henry. These are members who have been working very hard as a group. These last uh, three years, we've had a combined council, but before that, the three councils were meeting together since Father Carl retired, uh, working on cluster issues and then trying to take care of things that were going on in the individual parishes. For the last three years, it's been a very uh, positive and good experience for all these people who have been working together. All right, thank you. And then finally, uh, not finally, but I'd like Father Tom to stand over here. <laughs> As you know, he's retiring in two weeks. <laughs> so it's getting, you don't have to hear that very much longer. But, <laughs> It has been a, a good six years working as a team. It's kind of an interesting uh, setup, but I think we've worked well together as we've both been trying to move our parishes forward to this point. So again, I thank him for his service and uh, wish him well and blessings in his uh, new adventure in retirement. And then, uh, any ad hoc committee, visioning committee members here, besides Bob? Oh, and Chris. And and Joe. Okay. So this was an ad hoc committee of our Cluster Parish Council that began working last November uh, outside of the regular council meetings trying to uh, vision how do we move together with Father Tom's retirement and all the other challenges that we are facing. Bob will give a brief report of that when we come to that point. So I think that's the introductions and the thank yous at this point. I would now like uh, the finance council chairs, I think one person is speaking for them, just to kind of give us an overview of the financial state of our three parishes, and then Jeff Williams will be talking about the financial state of our Port Catholic uh, program. Good afternoon. <laughs> Right into it, good afternoon, better? Yeah. Okay, remind me if I don't, okay. Um, I'm Carl Charles, I'm the finance chair of the council at uh, Magda Conception. We also have Mike Linsmuth, who's the chair for the finance council at St. Mary's, and Mark <coughs> Gaines, finance chair at St. Peter's. And we elected, we drew straws one night because we thought it'd be more efficient if only one person gave a talk to represent the three parishes because we're not going to go into a ton of detail. And uh, I lost. So that's why I'm not <laughs> Anyways, as you know, with the three parishes, that represents three corporations. They're independent corporations within the archdiocese and the Catholic Church structure. And as a result, we do not consolidate financial statements and we do not really study the other financial statements. So except for maybe a summary when we're putting this talk together, we don't have a lot of detail on what the other ones do. However, right, the comments I'm going to make will be generally applied to all three of the parishes. We're gonna kind of do an overview of what the churches look like and what the combined churches look like to give you an impression of what, it, what the picture looks like for us. The year that we're finishing now, which is the 2014-15 year, the fiscal year ends June 30th, 2015. All three of the parishes are projecting a positive bottom line based on a number of factors. One we determine is solid budgeting. Now, the proper term might be fortunate budgeting. The total income that we're projecting for this year is gonna approximate what we put down for total income a year ago. And I think most of you are familiar with this, the single largest component of 
the income is from the stewardship area, which is which is envelopes and the offertory collections. This represents 80% of our total income that we get in a year. And we thank all the parishioners who have taken upon themselves to kind of come along with our budget and give us the amount of money that we projected a year ago. Very nice of all of you, and we appreciate all that. In addition to the budgeting, we have benefits from staff changes. We have a personnel position that was not replaced during the year. We also carefully monitored controllable expenses during the year, and we had no surprises with the maintenance and capital area. As you can imagine, that can be a very large amount of three facilities we have. Looking at 2015-2016, that is a different year, and there's some new challenges. The budgets have been completed and submitted to the Archdiocese. And to put everything kind of in perspective, the combined income from the three parishes for this coming year is $1,560,000. Factors taken into account for this next year is lower stewardship income due to fewer masses at Immaculate Conception in St. Mary's. We don't know what that amount will be. We had to figure something for budgets. We just assume we're going to have some reduction in contributions. People might go somewhere else. We hope not. People might not attend mass that used to. And we thought it just prudent to put a lower amount in for that. From a favorable standpoint, we're getting a savings from Father Tom's retirement. <laughs> That's good for the budget standpoint. Now, on the negative side, he's taking all his wine with him, okay? <laughs> but as he would tell you, that's a story for another time. <laughs> we continue, we budget, and continue to fill, fulfill our mission and ministries. And that includes liturgy and music, adult and young adult ministry, child ministry, court Catholic, and pastoral expense. Those categories represent 50% of our total expenditures per year. We also factored in additional costs for the proposed merger that's being talked about. And this may be for legal or consulting fees, but it's only a modest amount. It's not a huge impact on the total budget, but we should mention it because it's in there and would not normally be there. We also have done diligent planning for maintenance and capital. Maintenance and capital represents 30% of our annual expenditures each year. And as I mentioned just briefly before, when you look at all the buildings that we have, all the property that needs to be maintained, winter time you need to clear the parking lots. That's a big task. We have great building and grounds and great maintenance people. But there's a lot of projects there. So that represents 30% of our budget. All three parishes have a near break-even budget for next year. And I told you it would be brief, and it is brief. But in summary, the main things are, this current year we're in, we're having a positive year based on level of income and managed expenditures. Next year, the parishes have budgeted for break-even with a decline in income and a close monitoring of expenses. And finally, the financial position is decent across all three parishes with balanced budgets and no debt. Thank you for your time.